Hello AP Psychology. So we're going to continue with notebook number two. We're going to look at our psychological domains today. I apologize in advance if you hear the film Coco or my son screaming in the background. So psychological demands, uh, excuse me, domains. There are 14 different ways that one can apply or study the field of psychology. So first, biological. How brain activity and circuits affect our behavior or causes emotion. And then how do the emotions and moods affect a behavior? So an example of if you t are in a great mood and you turn on a comedy, you're gonna laugh harder. If you're in a bad mood, turn on the comedy, you're not gonna maybe be very happy or laugh at all. So your emotions and your moods, how they affect how you behave. Um, clinical. And hold on a second. Sorry, I realized that part of the screen was um, cut off. Uh, clinical. So you're assessing and treating mental, emotional, and behavioral disorders. So think of the unit that we just went through. Um, folks that are suffering from any of those conditions, like schizophrenia, would want to go see a clinical psychologist. Dorothy Dix um, opened up the first mental asylum. Now, I don't know how well you need to memorize these names for an FRQ. Um, you know, it'd be nice to know them. But again, the College Board will give us more information about what the FRQ should look at, look like by the end of this week. Okay, then there's the cognitive. Study of a mental abilities associated with knowing, remembering, thinking, and communicating. Remember, cognitive, think, your brain. So a cognitive psychologist might use equipment that's going to study brain um, waves and how your brain is functioning. They want to look at, literally look at your brain. Okay, counseling. Professionals who help you cope with a crisis or help someone transition or make a life change. So a counselor is someone that you go to if you're experiencing something out of the ordinary, meaning um, a family member passes away. You would see a counselor, right? It's not really someone that you go to and then stay talking to them for a long period of time. It's someone that's supposed to help you get through something difficult. So a loss, a divorce, um, a life change. Maybe you you go to counselors all the time, actually, right? Um, if you want to get assistance with college applications or the college process, you go to see Miss K. She's your college counselor. So counselors are folks that will help you get through a particular moment in your life. Um, and then developmental, the studying changing abilities from the womb to the tomb. We have lots of feelings about that term, um, but it's the idea of what it's like and how do we change from childs from birth to the end of our lives. All right, so moving on, we have educational, the methods and influences on teaching and learning. I studied educational psychology, believe it or not, um, looking at the different ways in which we learn. Hope they were helpful. Um, <laughs> experimental, a diverse group of scientists who study behavior via, via experimental um, and observation in human and animals. So please do yourselves a favor if you have time. I mean, I don't know what else you're doing. You have schoolwork and then you just you stay in your houses. Check out 100 Humans. It's so good. It's experimental psychology. It's highly entertaining. Um, and it goes, and it applies to a lot of the theories that we've studied. It's a docu-series. They're like 30 minute episodes. Um, again, super entertaining and it's experimental psychology human factors the interactions of people machine and the physical environment um this is a job a human factor psychologist so i read when they when the atm machine was first created they had to bring in these types of psychologists to study the atm machine and come up with ways that people would mess it up um is this a uh, machine easy for a human being to interact with what potential issues do we see with people um remember we're not the, i don't want to say we're not the brightest we're not the brightest i mean you should read directions on things sometimes because those directions were written because someone messed them up i had a can of i don't know if they still write this if you ever have like a can of soup it'll say like open can pour into uh pot put on heat like people couldn't figure that out themselves they put in a whole can in there i don't know but human factors it's kind of this anticipation of what are humans gonna mess up uh, positive psychology seeks to encourage acceptance of your past and be optimistic about the future um and I, again i like that term positive understanding that you've made errors but you're trying to have a positive outlook on the future i hope all of us have some of that right now um, and then industrial organization 
organiza organizational, excuse me, industrial organizational. They use um, psychological concepts and methods to select employees, boost morale, design products, and better business functionings. Um, it's basically the idea of what can we do with folks to make them more productive, happier, a better employee. All right, to continue, personality deals with investigating and logging persistent traits and consistent characteristics or behaviors of people across time. This makes me think of the big five personality, if you remember that, um, looking at temperament, looking at interest, I think it's self-explanatory, the idea of investigating your personality. Um, psychometric, a domain that can be applied to any domain or field, it's a form of measuring. So think about those intelligence and personality tests that we've studied and gone through. Again, the big five trait is one of them. Uh, Myers-Briggs is another uh, uh, test that have, people have taken. So think of metric, like the way that you measure, right? So psychometric, we're measuring different atti attitudes, traits, abilities, etc. Um, psychodynamic, um, we're studying the unconscious drives and conflicts influence behavior. This is really Freud. All right, so psychodynamic, think of Freud, the unconscious drives, the conflicts, right? How your id is impacting your ego and superego, that kind of stuff. Um, so you're looking at this in information to treat a psychological disorder. I would say um, this is very much for personality disorders as well. Think of that like talk therapy about how the unconscious motives are creating problems in your life. And then social, how expressions of emotions vary across culture and situational context. So again, since you're home and I love movies, another really fascinating documentary is Amanda Knox. It's on Netflix. Um, and basically the premise is Amanda Knox is an American and she's studying in Italy. She's accused of murder. And when they interview her, she has like a smirk on, uh, she doesn't cry. And because she doesn't exhibit social cues that they deem to be normal, they think she murdered this person. So it's fascinating to look at that social psychology, how you behave and as an expression or um, how it relates to the culture in which you're in. So this brings us to contemporary psych, psych. So realizing behavior and internal process cannot be explained simply. Contemporary psychology shifts towards studying the interaction of the biological and cognitive processes. We're looking at inherited behaviors. Theories have failed to completely explain our behaviors and our and our minds, right? So this whole idea that you know you are who you are, it's biological. Part of it's biological, well, actually, mostly you're who you are because it's biological. Then we have the cognitive process, how your brain functions, and then what you know, nurture what was going on in your life to um, exacerbate some of those behaviors or fears or responses, etc. So instead of using one set of explanations, it's more a synthesis of the following. So when we are trying to figure out why people are the way they are, you don't want to look just through one lens, it's through these functioning at the same time, evolutionary. Um, again, your genes, you are who you are because of what has happened through um, ancestors, right? They could, okay, the kid's getting upset, sorry, I know. Biopsychosocial, interaction of your gene, your mood, your personality, and that social factors to determine behavior, right? So think of who you genetically are, how you respond to things and what's your what is your social factors right your family community your socioeconomic status cognitive how does your brain work memory learning etc and then the gist all principles which is the idea that when you see something your brain wants to put it into a sequence your brain wants to make sense of the what is seemingly not making any sense that it's to put it all together okay so the idea again is that contemporary psychologists believe that you are who you are because of evolution <laughs> your genes your social economic status the, the social factors your mood your personality how your particular brain works cognitive abilities and then your desire to make sequences of what you're seeing Okay, so the next few slides, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to leave them up there because they're examples of the just off principle.
So again, instead of seeing like for A, little Pac-Man, you should see a triangle. I almost forgot the shapes for a second there, right? So the idea that your brain is trying to make sense and patterns of, of what it's seeing. Uh, some people, I'll give you a second there. Some people see a saxophone player. Other folks see a woman. I don't think there are anything else going on there. I see the sax, dude. I don't know what that says about me, but. Again, same kind of idea. You're either seeing two faces or a vase. And now that you realize those are the two things, you can kind of switch those back and off, back on and off. But what's interesting is you can't really see them both at the same time. It's kind of like your brain clicks on and off a switch to be able to see the vase and then be able to see the two faces. Oh man, I forgot what the dots are supposed to be. <laughs> I think they're supposed to connect lines, and I don't know. I wasn't seeing what the example wanted me to see. Maybe you see lines together. I'm not. I'm not 100 sure. I'm sorry. And I think that might be it. Yeah. All right, class. So that ends notebook two. Um, hope that was helpful, and uh, you know, continue our review.